This was a phenomenal experience, but let me take you back to the beginning. School for the Arts. Uh, it's, it's, it's emotional, but in a good way because I get to give back, uh, not just to the community, but the community that helped establish me, that helped create um, or helped create my artistic uh, flair. Um, I remember being in these halls thinking that I knew everything. Um, to just being encouraged and, and knowing that I could just take on the world. Of course, after the School for the Arts, so much happened. So many great things happened after the School for the Arts. Uh, but then, of course, life happened. Uh, so when I was called and asked to come back and be on a panel, a TED Talk, you know, type series um, to impart to the students, you know, what my experience was like, I jumped at the opportunity. I was over the moon, excited to say the least. Uh, to teach and show kids that there is a way after um, life uh, happening to you, you know, and that there's a way to get around any and everything, any obstacle, that was, that was big. Uh, and that's gonna be what I'm gonna talk about today, uh, to impart into young artists' lives. Uh, they're fresh, they're new. Um, to give them a foundation through my experience that hopes when they get out there and they, you know, hit some, you know, bumpy patch, that's not the hope, that's not the goal, but if they just, uh, just realize that, you know what, I'm gonna remember that guy Franklin. He said, don't give up, keep trying. Um, and if it fails, try again, and then try something else. Um, talking about access and knowing and, and, and reiterating to them that being in this environment is so special and that they may not realize how special it is, um, but that this is gonna open so many doors for them. It just feels good. I would have never imagined that I would be called because I'm not necessarily doing something directly in theater. You know, I'm still an artist, but uh, for them to see that um, there is passion and that I still have a vision that an artist has, because I don't think artists, we ever lose vision. We never lose that thing that we innately have, the drive. Um, it just feels good to be called back. So I'm hoping not to um, sound too cliche, but I'm hoping to change someone's life today. Sure. 
got accepted at the Fordham University Lincoln Center. She got some Fordham lights out there. And shortly after, I got to New York, studied theater, and went on my first audition. I didn't get it. I, was, I, I went to school for the arts. I, I should have gotten that audition. So what did I have to do? Nothing wrong, I had to start waiting some tables, right? Working in a couple hotels, just to pay the bills. But I didn't stop. I didn't stop. So today, that's what I want to talk to you about. Do not stop. Keep going. It's going to happen, right? Some of you go out, jumping out with Ailey. Some of you are going to get great uh, studios to work for. Some are going to make it to Broadway. But what happens when things don't happen the way you plan it here? Keep on going. Keep the momentum. Don't give up on yourselves. So, uh, shortly afterwards, I started to work with people uh, like, you know, name drop. I was Lindsay Lohan's assistant for a while. Uh, fast forward a little bit, I'm currently Javonta Davis, the boxer, his assistant. So, this thing called lifestyle manager, I became a lifestyle manager. And people say, well, what is that? What is a lifestyle manager? Lifestyle manager is access, curates daily living, right? Giving people what they want. You ever hear that song, living your best life, right? Yeah. But guess what? These people aren't living their best life without me, right? So I help them create what that is that they want. Some people say, hey, Franklin, matter of fact, just 24 hours ago, a uh, top chef contestant called me and said, hey, my restaurant is, I, I can't even fit these 500 people in there. I need a place to watch the finale of, our, of me on Top Chef. Can you help? Absolutely. I was there. So curating daily living, right? Curating that special, uh, unique experience that others don't have. Seamless service, right? That uh, being in hospitality shortly after uh, I left the School for the Arts, uh, giving people what they want, making them happy. Everyone wants to be happy, right? Right? So sure. Did I ever stop being an artist? No. No, absolutely not. It was what the School for the Arts trained in me, to give my all to what I believe in, to what I feel on the day to day. And that's what I give to people, making them happy, making them smile. Thirdly, health and wellness, social. You see it so much on social media about you know living your best life, feeling good, getting in shape. I wasn't the most in shape person I was at the School for the Arts. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, Denise, is Nick still here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had the voice, but I didn't have the body, right? So when this and this is connected, it all comes. It all comes to fruition. You feel better about yourself. So personal training, I give people that and help people with their social media and also just their day-to-day -day living. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is what really the School for the Arts helped me with. And you don't realize, but you have access. Access, this is huge. The people that I met just because I said I went to the School for the Arts and I graduated, that did not make sense to me until almost 20 years later when I turned 40, I'm 42 now. But the persons I work with and came in contact with are coming back now and I'm helping them just by access. You being a blue ribbon school around the world, you're gonna get your auditions based on just the school itself. The people that you're gonna come in contact with, uh, the people you work with, dancers, other artists, that's the access. So how did I bring that into being a lifestyle manager? I said, well, you know, I still have this, this talent, but I don't necessarily need to be on stage. That wasn't my burning desire. Actually, just sidebar, I haven't been on stage since 2006. This is my first time back on stage, guys. So, thank you. But access, access grant. So remember, anything that you can think of, anything that you dream of, you have access. So take everything that you do here, that you're learning, even in your academics, and realize that you have access. 
little preaching at last but not least, and I really want this to register with you. If it doesn't work, try again. Keep trying. Do not give up on yourselves. You know, um, if I had a little bit longer, I'd talk about some of the things not so great that I experienced, but I never gave up on myself. I never stopped trying. And it was a hard road sometimes, but just recently, the things started coming to fruition for me. Even as a month ago when I was asked to come back to speak to you all, never give up on your dream. It will come full circle. And guess what? Try again. I'm so proud of you guys. Let's give it up for yourselves one more time. Class of 2020, I'm so proud of you. And to my fair agents, keep going to us. Yes. Thank you, I'm proud of you guys. Class of 1995. Thank you. So we are going to head over to a theater class and share some more. All right, keep the magic going. This has just been more than I could have imagined, that I could have asked for, prayed for. Um, I knew it was going to be emotional, but I didn't think it was going to be this emotional. So. Did you guys see Ernest Shaw? Be kind, be compassionate. That's what it's about. True artists are kind and compassionate. Everything that I do in life, everything that I do through my work, is about being kind. Because you never know who may need that kind word, that kind gesture. That's what it's about. It just feels good to be called back. So I'm hoping not to um, sound too cliche, but I'm hoping to change someone's life today. Um, and it just feels good. This was my heart here. She kept me grounded. She made sure I didn't get in any trouble. And you did. You were Virginia Mo. Yeah. She makes us go no. run. Yes. Yes. This one is great. Yes. 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 Yes.
so much. And I will see you soon.